There's a problem in journalism. We call some of the topics we cover the vegetables or the spinach as if they're, they're, they're gross and people should be reading them, but they're not going to want to. It's a terrible attitude. If we can't take things that are important and, and meaningful in people's lives and make them interesting, that failure is 100% on us as writers. That is entirely our fault. There's so much information out there. It's the most exciting time to be a reader and a lover of media. If you want information, you can get at any time, at any place. But at the same time, it's, there's all these challenges as a reader. I remember beginning to follow the news. I remember the feeling of, of anxiety around opening a new article and knowing that I was about to feel stupid. I was about to feel like I was outside the club. This is a real problem. And it's not a problem we could solve in print. The nature of the medium, the nature of the space constraint was that we couldn't put all the information you needed, but we don't have that constraint on the web. We can solve this problem. Digital articles, at least in principle, last forever as web archives. That's something some people are taking advantage of today, but we don't think that people are really writing articles with that in mind. Ezra and Matt and Melissa came to work with us at Vox Media because they knew that we weren't just a media company, we were also a technology company, and that we could take their idea, take their vision, and actually make it real. Success, in somewhat grandiose terms, is that we want to create the single greatest resource available for people to understand the issues that are in the news. I can't wait to see if what we think people need is actually what they need. If it's not, we'll change it. We want to have the ability to move fast. I have loved the code name Project X, but that's not going to be the name of the site. The name of the site is Vox.com. Coming in here and working with, with Trey and his team, was shocking. We have had to step up our game so dramatically. They're figuring out ways that this idea will actually work. And so the only thing that made sense was to pick a name that reflected that. We can build all of the context so that in order to begin to understand the news, you don't need to read it for a long time and understand 20% of the first article, then 23% of the second, then 25% of the fifth. We can actually just put the information there for you. There's no such thing here as the vegetables of journalism. We have to figure out how to make this stuff not just matter to people, not just appealing to people, we have to figure out how to make it understandable to them too.